how to keyframe the visibility toggle of a grease pencil object or grease pencil layer in the scene. You may have a, a grease pencil object that for a certain number of frames or even after a certain point, you just want it to disappear or you want it to reappear later, right? Like any other kind of visibility toggle. Two methods of doing that uh, for the grease pencil. Okay, so for example, here's a close up I've got that, I want, that I've got and it works for this angle, but I don't want it to exist anymore in the scene after this shot, right? So if I pop out of the, the camera, you can see then that if I wanted to say, make a new shot around this angle, and I wanted the character to, I wanted to make a new grease pencil or something here, then this grease pencil's visibility is getting in the way. So how do we actually toggle that? All right, so two methods. The first is you can uh, key the visibility on each grease pencil layer. This one, depending on how many layers you've got, this is, is the most laborious way of doing it. But if you've only got two layers, you might be fine to do it, right? So when you're in the grease pencil, so I have I have this grease pencil selected right now. <clears throat> if I go over to the grease pencil layers, you can see we have the toggles for the visibility. So what you want to do is like, okay, so I want it to be visible up until this frame here. So let's say, let's say this frame here, I want it to be visible. So what you have to do is just make, jump back one frame. So the, basically the last frame that you want it to be visible on. You go to the the little eye thing here, the little eye symbol, right? And then you hover your mouse over it and you press I. And then like on mine, I've got, I need both those layers, right? So I need to put I on those. And you can see it goes orange, which means there's a key on the visibility. Then you just go one frame forward <clears throat> and then you just switch them off. And then you I, oop, and then you I, I guess they're already key. Yeah, they're all, sorry. I've got automatic keying on, so it already keyed it for me. Okay, so that this little button here, if you've got that on, once you've set a key, any change you make will automatically update it. So now it'll disappear. Uh, not on the rough layer for some reason. Oh, I've got, sorry, I've got three layers. There we go. So this is what I'm talking about with it being a little bit, you know, you've got to make sure you do it on every single layer that you want to hide. So I, I don't actually prefer this method. Uh, I'll show you the other method, which is my preferred. So now it'll disappear and therefore it no longer, when I go now to look at my new thing, my new, look at my new angle, it's no longer there anymore, right? So that's what you have to do. And if, you know, your grease pencil keys extend on beyond the beginning of the shot, you'll have to do that uh, for, the, for the front end of it as well. But usually with a grease pencil, the keys don't exist until you draw something anyway. So the chances are it's at the beginning of the shot you want. But if you wanna, if you do wanna hide at the beginning, you do the same thing, right? You, <clears throat> you come to the frame, the first frame that you want to be visible, and then you key, key those, and then you jump back one, and then you switch them off, and now it should come into existence, stick around, and then disappear. So that's how you do it with the grease pencil layers. If you prefer that method, carry on. So ob at an object level, you can just hide the whole thing, right? So I'm gonna get rid, I'm gonna back this all up, get rid of all these keys a minute. <clears throat> okay, so he's fully visible. On an object level, once you, you're you in object mode, or it actually doesn't matter, if you've, if you've got the grease pencil selected, Go up into your outliner, which is usually up in the top right corner. If it's not, then drop that down, go to the outliner. Your outliner is the list of all the objects. Press the um, the dot or period key on the number pad to, if, if you're like if you're down here and like, oh, where's my object? Press the number pad dot and it will jump to it. So this, what, this is called shot 90 GP free. <clears throat> now, if you can do, if you toggle it on and off, right? You, you can see you can actually toggle it, but you cannot key I'm not sure why, honestly. But you you see, if I try keying the visibility just with the eye, it says down the bottom, hide viewport property, cannot be animated. I don't know why, because you can do it on other objects. So anyway, that's the case. So what you have to do is go up to the top here, and you see this little weird symbol, drop that down, and then make sure that the this TV symbol, monitor symbol is on. What that'll do then is it gives you another option here, which is, that's viewport visibility toggle. Okay, and you can key that one. So if I do the same thing here now, then I'm gonna um, I'll key it, 
there, I want the visibility on, drag it to the end, visibility on, and then one frame forward, off, same thing happens, but it, that that's the whole object done there now, right? So um, you don't have to toggle individual layers, the whole thing just gets done at the uh, object level. And depending on how you're gonna render this, like if you're using viewport renders and things like that, um, you're fine, but if you're, if this is for something else and you're doing like a full on render, you might also have to key the, um, the render visibility as well. But for viewport use, this is how you do it. Okay, cheers.